Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. To make this card I use the stamp set Tasteful Touches for the flower. Um, a good man for It's Your Day. Forever Fern for the leaves. And Itty Bitty Birthday just for the happy birthday here. because I have done the inside for a change. I used the trio punch and the flower punch that there, or the leaf, whatever you like to call it, to do the inside decoration bit. Right, for this card you need a card base of Four and one eighth by eleven and three quarters, scored at five and seven eighths, folded in half. A piece of oh, sorry, this is misty moonlight. Misty moonlight, I'm using um, a piece of misty moonlight at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and a piece of whisper uh, whisper white. Well, you can do if you got it. White cardstock of five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and I've got misty moonlight at three and three quarters by three and three eighths, and a piece of white at three and five eighths by three and a quarter. That will go in the middle that way, long ways. What else have we got? Oh, two, where are they? One eighth inch of card. This is I'm only using this because I chopped it off when I was cutting my card up, and I was left with this long bit, and I cut it in half, and I've got two bits of one eighth by three and seven eighths. So I shall keep that. Right. The dies I'm using are the layering circle dies, the plain one and the is that it? Yeah. The smallest circle and the smallest scalloped edge dies for the sentiment on the front. And then the edges here, I've used the delicate lace dies. I haven't used these for a while. And I have done, use this one for this. And what I did was I lined it up across the top and cut it out at that end. And then I cut it out at this end here. And I ended up with this bit, which will sit on top of the five by seven eighth bit, like that. And these two bits here will sit over the stitching part. Both of them will sit there. Now if you go back in my cards, uh, right back to the beginning, you see I did something like this with the bride on it. And I was looking through my videos and I come across that one and I thought, oh, I'm going to do that one again. So this is where this has come from. For any newcomers I've got who haven't gone back and looked at my cards and then these two here once I've stamped on them will sit in the middle with a little border each side like that and this piece will go inside like that but we need that out to stamp 
and we need that out to stamp and we don't need this because I've already done it that's another one I've got the stitched circles over and I haven't used them for a long time right I'm gonna actually stick all this down not that one but stick all these down so I just put glue on the bits that I've got a big enough piece to put glue I'll try and get it on all the edges on there and do this side Pop this on here. Now it should go side to side nicely because they are the same side and side to side as well. That way, top to bottom, they should fit nicely, and then that way. And then we're going to glue on these strips. And the aim of these strips is just to hide these stitch marks here making sure they go top to bottom I'll turn this around so I can And that piece will fit in there either side with a nice gap. Yeah. And then we can put this on the front of our card. So that's our base already. And now we have to do our stamping. Right, we need moss. I did I keep I did. I was wondering a bit because I have been throwing moss down. So now in this card I use blushing bride. But in this card, I'm going to use Melon Mambo. I'm just going to brighten it up a little bit. So, with my Melon Mambo, and ink up my card. I am going to put one there like that. And put a mask on it and this one I'm just going to turn a bit like that and then we're going to put a mask on that one as well Right. 
close that up. Oh no, we want another one of them. On our inside, we're going to put one there. That's upside down, so I don't want that. That's better. And with old olive, we're going to do some leaves round it. Do this one first, seems as it's masked. And I just did one and then off. One and then off. One and then off. And one and off. That's all I did around there. Pinch one of these. And do the same with this one. And this one I think I only did it at the sides. Like that. I'm sure that's what I did. I did. So that's the inside. And that's the front. I quite like the Melon Man Bobo. Right, with this one, we're just going to pop three corners in our punch. Oh, I just did it. The wrong one. Stupid girl. Punch that in. And punch that in. Now because I've rounded the corners on that one, I'm going to round this corner. Like that. And that will go inside our card, which we will put in now. Stamped happy birthday. Misty Moonlight and our happy birthday. I'm going to stamp that there like that. And I've over stamped it. Don't know if you can see it. But I've over stamped it. All right, get this and take it off. Yeah. the front. All we've got to do is glue this on there and pop it on the front. Oh yeah, that's right. Glue this on here. And we're going to pop that up on dimensionals. Pop 
is. Why is it easier when you're not doing it on camera? Right, like that. And that on there like that. Now we've got, oh, our sentiment. So I've got a scrap of blue and a piece of white but it might not be big enough and a piece of white and on sentiment it's your day right, stamp that and this is going to be cut out with that one and that's going to be cut out with that one. Bring a nice sidekick. Cut this off. So I can put that on there. Tape it down. So it don't move. And that on there. run it all the way through that's that one won't get any more out of them oops wrong one So right, we want some glue. And glue these two together. Very little board around around the edge. Just enough to give it a, a bit of colour. And this is going to go up there. But first we need a mini dimensional. Mini one please. Just to sit there. And glue. There. And we're going to pop that. Just on this top corner. Yep. And that is our card for today. Hope you like it. I even decorated the inside. So I hope you like that. Give us a thumbs up if you do. And what colour do you like better? I like this one better, I think. Right. Um, yes, if you give us a thumbs up if you like it, you can comment, share, subscribe. And if you press the uh, bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting. And I hope to see you again soon.